This is Adorama TV and I'm Vanessa Joy and I'm gonna walk you through a two-point lighting setup from my last shoot with the Canon 1DX Mark III. Now for this shot, I, I had it in my mind what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to work with the mirror. I knew I wanted to sort of peek through moment. So some of my first decisions when I'm gonna light up a shot are obviously composition and what lens I'm going to work with. So I decided on the 85 1.4 millimeter with image stabilization for this shot. So I can get the nice curtains kind of peeking in and then the chandelier above as well. My first item of business was to create an exposure as if I was not lighting with exterior lights, which I did have two Profoto B10s in the wings just waiting. So I got my initial exposure just setting the scene. I wanted the curtains to be dark, but I didn't want them to lose detail. And where I was going to position the lights on the other side of the curtain, they wouldn't be affecting the light in front of what I was seeing of the curtain. So after that exposure, exposure. After that exposure was set and I was happy with it, again, very dimly lit curtains, but enough to show detail. Then I put the mirror into position. I stood my model there and just tried to get the angle of light so it was flattering on her face, but didn't look too bright. Now when I first started, I thought that I needed to have the light more towards me and pointing at the model. But what that produced on her face at least was a very flat looking light. There was no jawline, there was no angle, and I wasn't exactly getting the light in her eyes the way that I wanted it either. So I decided to move the light to the other side, almost above the mirror so that the light was coming up from above. We had a pro photo portable beauty dish with the diffuser on it. So it was a nice diffused light, but because the beauty dish is smaller in size and it wasn't right next to her face, it actually produced in between soft and hard light. It was enough to give that contrast between light and dark so that it emphasized her jawline and made it look really angular. I just had to be careful to make sure that her face was pointed towards the light so that the light hit her eyes and they didn't go into shadow. Because I had to have a bright enough exposure to see the details in the curtains, I couldn't darken the exposure enough to not have the window light as a highlight in the picture, at least not without adding a third light to light the front of the curtains. So I needed to make sure that she was lit dramatically so that the view viewer's eye went straight there. After I set that light where I wanted it to be and I got my power by using TTL and then switching it to manual and going up or down, there was still something missing. Typically when I'm doing a two point lighting setup, my goal is to one, light the face, number two, light the hair or separate them from the background. And that's the part I wasn't really happy with. She was still sort of blending into the background. There wasn't that extra added dimension that I could get if I just added a second light. So right off the bat, I threw the Profoto B10 on the other side of her, pointed it somewhat towards her, but not directly at her, feathering it a little bit so I didn't blow out the dress. I didn't want to blow out her dress or her veil or her blonde hair. So pointing it, feathering it a little bit off towards me, it didn't flare into the camera because it had the curtain there to hide it. Now, initially I thought I was gonna put a grid on the light, but I ended up taking a picture without the grid on it and I thought it looked fine as a raw light. So. I kept it. I just adjusted the light a little bit brighter after the first couple shots and really by eye, looking at the back of the Canon 1DX Mark III was able to see exactly what was happening with the light. That camera was fantastic, by the way, with the focus and being able to really hone in on her face. If you wanna see more about that, you can of course check out uh, David Bergman's video on the Canon 1DX Mark III. What we both can agree on very easily is the fact that the focus the focus is spot on. It found her face, even though it was super small in the mirror and was able to just get it tack, tack sharp. After a little bit of playing around with where her head position and hand position was, I got where I wanted. Now, I did like the photo straight out of camera. And if you know me, I prefer not to do a lot of or any Photoshop at all. But man, that light that chandelier at the top in the front was bothering the crap 
out of me. It's just slightly off center. So in Photoshop, I did rearrange the furniture and I moved the chandelier that was just a little bit too far to the left, right to the center. So it was perfectly above the curtains. Looking for some inspiration? Then make sure you download my free posing inspiration guide. It's full of ideas for individuals, couples, and groups. Grab it in the link below. Anyway, that's how I got the shot and it's pretty much how I do a typical two point lighting setup when working with off camera flash and balancing it with the ambient light. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to Adorama TV and I'm Vanessa Joy. I will see you next time.